I am. I, I used to be a, a full-time musician, and I guess the thing that I figured out when I was a full-time musician is that music is, firstly, incredibly powerful, and 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 very enjoyable. But at the end of the day, you can enjoy something as much as you like. But you really need eternity. Jesus is more important than having a good time. And I'd like people to, to be able to use music to connect with other people, uh, to talk to them about Jesus. I think I'm like a lot of people that we often know the lyrics to our favourite songs better than we know our favourite Bible passages. Often when we hear those songs, those things often move us more than when we read the Bible. And I think God actually created music to be, to have that emotional confidence. So I think using, the mu using music to connect people with the gospel is, is a, a really good way of doing it. Well, I guess I released it with the, the express purpose of giving people an opportunity to talk to their friends about Jesus so that you could give the CD to someone, so they could listen to it. There's different varieties and styles of music so that it would appeal to most people. And then through that, you could start to have conversations about Jesus. Uh, well, it ranges in genre from folk rock uh, to roots. There's some country, there's some grunge, there's some funk. Uh, there's a hidden track at the end that's got some metal on it. So it's extremely varied. I think in days gone by, people like one sort of music, and I think that's still true to a certain extent, but I, I think people's tastes are more eclectic these days. And also, um, for this sort of thing, for giving somebody an album and saying, what do you think about it? There's kind of something for everyone. Well, I think the thing, particularly uh, with this album, is to be giving people the music to allow them to listen to it, to think about it. It needs to have good lyrics. It needs to have lyrics that are reflective of the Bible so that once they've come into contact with the lyrics, you can then connect them with the Bible. So for instance, there's a couple of songs on the album where they're stories about people who've come into contact with Jesus. They're stories out of the Bible. And you can say, well, if you like this song, you like what's going on here, this actually comes out of this passage in the Bible. Pull it out and give it to them. So have a read and see what you're thinking. Have a chat with them. Too. I'm stuck in sin. I, need uh, I think the first thing is you need to know what's on it. So you need to you need to listen to it and listen to the lyrics. The lyrics are on the inside uh, the, the booklet in the in the CD itself. So you need to know what's in there. And then once you've done that, I'd suggest giving it to a friend who you think's going to enjoy it. So you you know who your friends are. You know the sorts of music that they're into. Give it to them. Give it to them for a couple of weeks, and then after a couple of weeks, let them keep it. I mean, obviously that's the, that's the thing you really let them keep it. And then after a couple of weeks, say, "Hey, you know that CD that I gave you? What did you think about it?" Um, and no matter what their response is, it's that's a starting point to talk about Jesus. Because I've already had one person say to me, uh, their, their father listened to it and said said to us, "It's very religious, isn't it?" And you know what? That's okay. Like that's that's a fine response. That's their personal response to the material on the album. It is religious, I guess you could say, in that it's interested in talking about Jesus. Um, and that's a starting point. You can say, yeah, I guess it is. What, what do you think about that? And those sorts of basic conversations can then lead you into talking about what they liked about it. Okay, so it was religious, but you know, did you like the song? Then? Was there something that kind of piqued your interest and? something you found catchy. Um, and from there, then it's not weird to talk to them about your faith. This has already kicked it off. Yeah, it's not about you. The album's not about you. It's about its own material. You know, it's, it's got its own thing. So if they say, I hate it, I never want to see it again, then they're not rejecting you. They're rejecting you. And it's just a, a talking point, a springboard, if you will, to start to sort of have those conversations.